subtleties that you want to amaze us with, or are you going to keep those secret and hope that we haven't picked up on them? Oh, there's really not any secret. We just try to uh, fight well together. We try to, you know, uh, have the best teamwork, and I think that the team that fights um, the best together as a unit is going to carry the day every single time, and that's what we aim for. Yeah, I was talking to Satoshi the other day about your rather Spartan um, mind frame. When you're in the matches, you're not allowed to joke around. You, everything you say has to be pertinent to the match, and you guys practice daily. Do you think that you guys probably do so more than any of the other teams in the North American scene currently? Yeah, I can't really speak for any of the other teams. There's a lot of really good teams out there um, that we know that everybody that we fight against, uh, we don't underestimate them. And, you know, we just try to, um, you know, kind of just have a, a, a positive attitude and try to be professional. Um, you know, I always tell my guys, hey, we don't, you know, we don't want to talk any shit. After the match, just say good game. And, and uh, you know, you, we try to let our, uh, let your swords do your talking. That's one thing that we always try to say. That's excellent. So, if I were to ask you, number firstly, I must mention that Hutley just took out Hank Reardon. He did, Very in fact. Display. Yes. Um, but also, I wanted to ask. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the 5 vs. 5 Primitus North American Tournament, hosted by DarkAgeGaming.com. We were picking this game right up. It's already underway. Uh, what you just saw there... Um, uh, a little bit ago was the duel, opening duel for the matchup and the uh, part of the interview with, um, who was that? Uh, GB, right? Yes. GB from VQ and his victory in the last game. So the game is already underway here. Um, as Killa, Killa Shmoo yeah. able to pick up Maximus. Indeed, that was a great shot. I think it was through the little uh, hole, aiming hole there in the uh, wooden shield. So as this game is Killa versus Immortal Legion. And so far, every, the teams are a little bit spread out. We got a vanguard here. He's off on his Van own. <laughs> he just and then Knight just trying to yeah. Chase they him tried to chase him, him, and he j wow. Okay, I, I wouldn't have jumped down to go after him, but that's just me. Jumping right into swords is not exactly the most recommended tactic. Yep, and posting with me, and also I'm posting with him at the same time is uh, once again Height, Mr. Height. Uh, hello, Mr. Doctor Nick. Indeed, hello. Very nice overhead by Hetley there. Very nice again overhead with that, uh, is that the hatchet or the Norse? That's the Norse. Oh, that was, did you see that? I, it, I heard the blocking noise, but it said he was stabbed. I, I did not, uh, I'm maybe, not aware. It was just mine. But anyways, uh, first round goes to Killa. Very nice job. Great shot, that archer shot in the beginning. I don't think he was expecting to get shot through the little hole and he stood still too long. Next it's round just good. should be starting now. For the cross and, lion! and where is it? The timer in game is so misleading. There we go. Okay. Two knights, one with kite shield, one with tower shield from uh, uh, Mortal Legion. And men at arms, Hutley using that Norse uh, warbow archer. And the vanguard with a hobbard. Hutley's using a Norse sword? Uh, I said, I said, did I say Norse sword? I meant Norse axe. How about a Dana? <laughs> Norse axe, Dana axe. Norse axe, same thing. Same thing. Oh, very nice shot by one of the archers hitting the vanguard. I wonder if they're using broadhead or uh, botanic arrows. I'm unaware. The two archers just making oh. free shots, taking out storm, shieldless vanguards have tr that trouble. That knight was in trouble. Oh, but very nice. Getting his shield up. Uh, Mushroom got his shield up very quickly there. He knew that vanguard was behind him. Oh, very nice Shmoo shot. with a nice counter snipe. Exactly. Oh, and the knight turned his back, which is not what you want to do. Bad things happen when you turn your back on the enemy. Yep. And Hank Reardon, although he fell, he totally tanked the aggro of those um, immortal guys, legion. Yeah people for a while which allowed those archers to get off those free shots really pulling his work the men at arms needs to heal up and if they can do that then it's still anybody's game you know archers are good but it's hard so hard to predict if they're, they're going to hit when they won't yep it's going to be on the men at arms to try to create a situation where he is not just out in the open to be killed or he's just going to go right out in the open and just try to serpentine he is. And he's got both of them aiming. Uh oh, the vanguard is coming over too now. Which, oh, but the knight. Oh wow, that was a, just 
barely got that poke in time, right as that sword was about to connect. Ah. That's, I mean, it was looking like it could have been anybody's game, but it's definitely swung in favor of Killa now. Yep. Now it's just gonna... They're just gonna wear this man-at-arms down. Yeah, see what Let's... Hutley can pull out. I mean, he's he's been a very good player so far. And those yep. archers are gonna start running out of arrows soon, I think. Yeah, they are. Ooh! Oh. Missed, oh, missed his swing, got poked, and then an arrow into the chest. Hutley, who was extremely effective in the first match in the tournament that they played also versus B.O.B. And is shown to be effective so much this time. Just not quite able to pull it out. I guess he, he can dance and evade the archers only for so long. Okay, we're resuming. I'm uh, hoping that this match finishes, or this round finishes before the timer is called. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit contentious. Yeah, and indeed. And, uh... Since I cut off that last part, the uh, for those who wanted to know, uh, the arbitration was that IL had moved up too far during before the match was resumed uh, due to that interference. So they were, their win was taken away. It's two and zero in favor of Killa. Yep, we see a nine of Vanguard over on the left. They're, they're the, being they cut off. They moved up, but um, they were held back by that Vanguard in time for some more support to come up. Maximus taking out one of the archers. Um, Maximus. No, wow. Two counter snipes in a row. Maximus approaching from the side, not taken into account by the other archers who were focusing on the front line. Indeed. Very, he did definitely did his job. Oh, and a beautiful oh, shot. Maximus. Wow. Can't believe he didn't hit his teammate there. Using that boda. Maximal Maximum. Maximum. Oh, miss. <laughs> like just making up words now while we're at it. Archer, of course, the number one worst class in the entirety of the game. Don't if listen ever to him. Archer is the best class ever. You know, um, everyone should play Archer all the time. No, I think you're a little no. biased because you bought into the hype of the Archers, and bought now you're kind of just trying to convince yourself you made a good investment uh, in your time. I was, I was born as the Archers, molded by it. You merely adopted the class. Ah. <laughs> uh, I played. That was like all I played in in uh, Age of Chivalry. <laughs> was the uh, archer loved it. All right. Uh, once again, um, IL moving up very aggressively. They're trying to move up on that left flank every time it seems. Very nice fire pot setting one of their vanguards on fire. Ooh. Yep. And then he was immediately pegged by an archer shot. But oh, move. Maximus is Getting down. Revenge for that counter sniper earlier. Indeed. Return the favor. Oh, uh, you can tell they're still trying to go for the archers. Very nice hit from Hutley taking out that vanguard while he's distracted. Uh, Knight with the mace drawing the aggro from two of the guys. Uh, I think, you know, just letting them get the, get it distracted so they could go after the archers was key, but yeah, obviously now they... Uh, well, very nice again. Very nice overhead. Man, Hutley seems to be the master of the overhead with that thing. Oh! Okay. Now it's even. Yep, Hank reared in with two. a Let's quick poke. Let's see if poke. that archer can't get some shots off, or if that knight can. That knight stop is in some very. Oh, but he can't hold off two people split like that. He's down. Archer dodged a poke from the vanguard, but he's in trouble. He's surrounded okay, from front and back. Yep. Oh, and the power of the crudgeon does not quite show up. The, uh, the cudgel. <laughs> like the expression on this guy's face. Those those people watching my my YouTube channel will see. Th glorious expression on this dead archer's face. Uh, that was great. I'll have to make that the uh, picture for the tournament or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, third round is resumed. It's, um, two, it's a tied now. Uh, two rounds for um, two rounds for one, two rounds for the other. Kill is setting up. They've taken down one of their archers in favor for a man at arms with a heater shield. Yep, I guess... Uh, I mean, they did lose, the, I think, the last two rounds, so... I think perhaps Maximus scared them. Yeah, he did a little bit. He was, he's, I think he was, He did take our advice, even though he wasn't watching, and uh, probably was using those broadhead arrows. Yes, yes. And unfortunately, I did not take time to do Santos' suggestion, so I'll have to get raged at him later. But <laughs> I like uh, kill his tactics very sneakily, move up the right side of the map. Slowly under the cover of the wood. Yeah, meanwhile, Long, hard wooden poles. hiding behind rocks as well. 
Yes, they're way- wow, they're way back there. Mm -hmm. They're archer. I think they know they're coming up- yeah, I think they can see them. Oh, wow, that's a long range archer fight going on. I don't think they'll be able to hit each other from that range. Oh, almost hit them in arms, got a shield. It's a very nice quick shot from, um, from Maximus. Maximus, Maximus. And are all... you not entertained? Well, I hope our viewers are. It looks like the uh, IL's pushing back. Oh, nice shot on the Vanguard. He's very hurt. He's full of blood. Oh, no, no, wow, no. just going for that random swing in there and then being like, no, nah, I don't want to be here. <laughs> but, to, but putting enough distraction to Oh, getting... very nice overhead from Troll. I believe that the first team kill of the day actually just the third. Oh, very nice. Or the second team kill of the day. Oh wow. Crawl Killers. killing individuals even if they weren't on the other team as well. Killers just did a great job there, but um one of the Immortal Legion guys did did crash. crashed at the very end and I think that's what IL is saying so they're probably you're still gonna count that round for uh, killers I think that they're gonna ask Killa if they're willing to redo the round and it will be up to Killa yeah this is probably the least smooth match of the tournament so far it was, <laughs> yeah it such a smooth match with BQ versus FK and this one just seems to have all kinds of troubles yeah Vanguards with their backs broken, walking straight around. Yep, <laughs> they're, I, I, they're I, I, with their halberds sticking through their body. No. 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 <laughs> Could watch that all day. That, that's how I run. I should just have a video that loops a Vanguard running like that. <laughs> I think just I might have to do that. Jeff, <laughs> yes. But no, but you need him saying no, 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 no. <laughs> He's being stalked by a man at arms. <gasps> the head bash. They hit him, those Still bastards. Oh, How dare man. they. I don't think so. I disagree. I don't think so. I disagree. Alright, so the arbitration's over Excuse again. Yeah, as the suspected kill has got the win for that round. Um, the Lawrence game is live again. Mm, I so. do believe that if there is a malfunction on one of the um, teams during the round, it is up to the other team as to whether or not they want to count that round or not. Correct. Which I think ha already had a president set in a match before. So he did not just pull that out of thin air or anything. Archer sniping from across the map, both sides uh, <laughs> hiding behind wooden bar barricades. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, that long range snipe from Halt! Wow, that was that was worth it. Indeed, Hammer's Eye taking out Maximus. That was worth watching the incredibly engaging gameplay. And uh, is now at a disadvantage for IL since they're down a man already. They're moving up under the barrage of projectiles and arrows. They're taking the fight to the enemy. Even though they lost a guy. Oh, Vanguard was hit. Um, they uh, only one knight on uh, Killers. Most of this event, mainly a lot of Vanguards. Yep, Hall picking out Hutley. And now it's a 3v5. Mushrooms putting in work. Now it's a 2v1 fight. Trying to do his best against two Vanguards. Having a hard time blocking with just a kite shield. Very nice quick poke there. And then yep. his, his vanguard buddy came in. Oh, that vanguard quickly got taken down by the combined efforts from the Warhammer and the, then the uh, Halberd. But Hammer's like, got a quick bash in. But he's having a hard time. Oh, and his head is gone. Yes. There are brain bits everywhere on the knight's nice armor. I know. It's a shame. Such a nice polished armor now. Better get the kiwi wax out. <laughs> or no, you don't wax armor. Uh, you, you could probably use oil. Yeah. 
Hey, you know, I'm not Squire I, in the I, Middle I, Ages. I don't have to know these things. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, I'm probably the only one that has a suit of armor in its closet that I occasionally walk into parks with. <laughs> I, have, I have a sword I don't ever use. I've got a machete that, yeah, that I counts. use quite frequently. I there try to go. find excuses to use it if I can't. Oil pot doesn't seem to be denying any useful area. Very or, nice. But a Vanguard uh, yep. goes in. With quick, uh, quick come in with the Zoolander there. The Derek Zoolander, number one. Oh, what? this knight's having. It's, oh, he's trying his best here. Oh, wow, that poor uh, mushroom just got stabbed from like three different angles. Once again, their knights are just getting constantly double teamed. I mean, they did a great job of holding off multiple enemies this last round, but and this round, they're wow, they're still pulling it off. Yep, and Hulk's is getting attacked by that tower or that cat. Oh, their the archer's in trouble. He took out the enemy, but oh, and they quickly stabbed by Hank Reardon. So Both now archers going down at the hands of the knights, and now that vanguard is going to get possibly reinforced. Oh, he chooses not to. Um, oh, I thought he was going to try and reinforce the knights. It's a quick before. turnaround with the stab, but the men at arms managed to block. You can see they're really double teaming, but at the same time. Oh, very well done by Hutley with the quick overhead. The vanguard is almost dead. Oh, Hank really takes out Hutley. Oh, what's this knight going to do? He's just under such a constant barrage that vanguard is doing a great job of switching between targets. Yeah, good for him, though. Um, yeah, Krull was almost dead, so now he's got to face a pretty decently health knight, though. Yeah, and uh, interesting, Hank Reardon has put down his shield, so he's now just using his sword. Meanwhile, uh, uh... Probably a good move. Tower Robert. shields are not exactly the best for oh. offense. But, oh, wow! Stab through the heart! Yeah, I... I don't know if it's a feature or a bug that when you get so close to a person, your your stabs seem to go through them. Because he had his shield up, and, and on my screen, that, shield, that sword went straight through his shield and into him. It didn't go around it at all. Uh, it looked good to me, personally, but who knows? It is susceptible. The game is susceptible to lag and different perspectives and whatnot. Yeah, hard to say. But uh, that was a great round, definitely. So, well, I'll ask what the count is here because I've lost track. I believe this Jelly Fingers is saying it's three four towards Killa, so it's still a very close game. Even though it's been one of our slower rounds, slower matches, I should say. Nice shot on the uh, Vanguard. Everyone's still. Uh, oh no! Hammerzite died. I didn't even see it. He must have got picked off by Maximus. It's a very intricate um, sort of dance for the front line. Maximus, Maximus takes out Retsnum immediately. Okay. Very nice. Oh, he's trying to protect his archer, but he was not able to. At least, he, I mean, he was being himself killed in the process. Hutley, though, returns the favor with a quick overhead. Kershaw's Ooh, Hank Reardon dead. changing the direction and able to think he's taking out that other knight and at just changing that direction at the last oh, minute. But Maximus, I mean, despite all that nice play, Maximus just picking off their guys one by one and Hutley finishing the job. Yep, Maximus putting in the work. Indeed, he turned out. I mean, he had a rough uh, first first two rounds, I think, but after that, he's really uh, started doing his part. This is now four to four. It's a tied game again. It's anybody's matchup at this point. Left side is going to see the action this time. It looks like, or my left. I uh, call it that the Palisade side in my earlier games. Oh, very nice fire pot. That actually split the vanguard off at the front from them if they would have progressed on that, but they didn't progress fast enough. Just playing it more cautiously. Oh, that knight's the in knight there. Just breaking into the lines. Oh, oh that vanguard. Right he, yeah, he was. Oh, you could tell he was stuck on that barricade. He could not get away and got quickly poked. Oh, wow, mushrooms! Just got ganked. A lot of hits just got traded there. My God. Hank Reardon just just putting the team on his back. Indeed, it's still three on three. Two on three. Is three on three currently? That's what the tab says, but I don't see the third player from uh, Immortal Legion. Um, 
Oh, and Maximus just went down to a counter snipe by We're Halt Hammerzeit. Storm has. Yeah, I guess it is 1v3. Storm is not alive, I do not believe. Oh, he's doing a decent job. Uh, Hank uh, Warbird was doing a great job there, but he couldn't match up against the two players. He's using the Morning Star, and I, I do love the Morning Star, but it does take a good couple hits, like three hits, compared to like two with the Falchion, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright. So it's now th four or five, I believe. Yep, four to five in favor of Killa. It doesn't look like the classes have changed at all. Everyone's kind of locked in at this point, it seems. You might see some change up once it gets, well, if somebody gets to like six rounds, somebody might try something daring. Throwing axes going out. Oh! Beautiful! Maximus taking out Halt on the side. That was a great long range shot. It's gonna throw the advantage back into more Legion's hands, I'd say. They're moving up as one group, it looks like. Definitely trying to protect their archer now that they've got that advantage. Mm -hmm. They're spreading out now. Nice hit on the men-at-arms uh, around a shield. He didn't have it up in time, I think. Correct. Oh, great. Oh, goodness. Storm makes an explosive entrance into the match. Stab from the side takes out a dread. Oh, and then the quick overhead from Storm takes out Retsum. And poor little Hank Reardon off on his own. There's one thing we know about Hank Reardon. He, he can do it. Nope. Oh, but, um. <laughs> Not this case. Not when you've got a halberd sticking through your back. That tower shield does not help when it's on your back. Apparently. Not quite. He he seemed to lose the match just like he lost the affections of the protagonist of Indeed. Iron Rand's Magnus Opus. The uh they're subbing a member in now, so the game match has been paused. Alright, the game is live again. That was a quick sub, I guess. I'm not sure who traded let's see oh bought Mr. Boston it looks like has traded out for one of the killers guys. And then he left. Alright, we are live again. So it looks like one of the killers guys what did end up summing out for Mr. Boston. Nice archer duel going on again here. <laughs> See if they get any long range pickoffs like we have been. I feel like Oh wow. Ooh, you yep. called it. Yep, I called it. I well I mean he wasn't moving around much, so when you got an archer not moving around much, I can kinda of predict where your movements are gonna be. Should have switched sides behind the other side of the barricade or something at least. Oh wow, that was a beautiful shot on Crow, right is at the crest of the hill there. And Mr. Boston taking out Storm at least. Mr. Boston just going to work with his broadsword. It Wow. Is that sub, uh, sub poop hang off in this round anyways? Oh, but he gets a shot off around the shield. Oh. Uh, more legions of trouble here. Great overhead Power by Maximus. Crudging. Yeah, that cludgel. It's a cludgel. <laughs> wow, they pulled it off the men at arms and the archer sticking together in the three the body of pile of three bodies at their feet. Wow, that was we a didn't believe in you little guys. We did. We well we didn't, but then we did. I did. Oh, I always believed. Okay, okay. He he believed in you. I I didn't. Maybe I did, I don't even know. It's a it's a Christmas season, good sir. Don't be such a scrooge. <laughs> they did do a great job, but uh that was a great round. They pressed. The, I mean, they they got that archer advantage, taking him out. But then they quickly lost it, and then because of uh, Boston taking out two of their guys, but then they managed to pull it off. Just the archer and the men at arms. All right. Uh, it looks like the knight with the tower shields trying to protect their archer a little bit. Yep. On the killer side of the match. The archer still concerned with just counter sniping. Uh, everyone's going through the palisade side. 
There's been some smoke deployed. Oh, their archer wasn't really shooting over there, so I'm not sure why the smoke went out. Or maybe it was deployed by Killa. Nice long-range poke there. It looked like he caught him right at the edge of it. There's a knight duel going on on the very edge here. And then a... Oh, Maximus taking out Kroll there. Yep, he may have... He switches attention from... Counter sniping for a second. Oh, uh, Knight's going for his archer. He's not gonna make uh, it though. Oh, he uh, got he one hit. Quenched too much to get the shots off. Yeah, but he made that uh, enemy knight waste all his stamina. That's true. And he got to to get their archer off him for a while. Wow, a lot of backstabbing going on here. Hank Reardon takes out Kershaw, but he's very hurt. Uh, that men at arms. Ooh, nice dodge. Oh. Beautiful dodge. Oh, Warboss taking out Boston at the very edge of his sword, and then Hank Reardon down by Hutley. This archer is dead. Beautiful dodge by yep. Hutley. Yep. Yeah, a beautiful, uh, beautiful match. Even though we had a lot of interference there in the first map, uh, I still think it was had some very good rounds. So that is uh, Moore's has gone to IL, and we're going to start the second map here. A heck of a uh, heck of a first set. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Height? Uh, uh, incredibly good set. After we got past the technical difficulties, you had one archer on each side. A lot of it had to do with the counter sniping matchup, which is what happens in these comps. But they weren't exactly just resting back until no one got there. They were advancing the lines, so we did get some nice, good action in there as well, even before the counter snipes occurred on lots of the rounds. I'll we'll cut the video out while we change maps here. We are live again um, on Throne Room this time. With, uh, as you were saying earlier, Killa's on Agatha and IL on Mason. Uh, let's see here. On Killa's, we got Hank Reardon as Knight, Mr. Boston Knight, Halt Hammerzite still an Archer, Krull Knight, and Dread as Men at Arms. What do we have for uh, more Legion? Um, for Legion, we have uh, Brandestock on the Vanguard, it looks like. The Danax on the Man-at-Arms. Archer sporting a war bow. Uh, two Kite Shield Knights. One with the Mace and one with the Longsword. This is an interesting... Sort of, uh, I'm stupid. Interesting comparison to the, what we had last matchup, where both only one side had an Archer and they were trying to get to him, whereas both sides have Archers this time. And they're using those choke points uh, with a lot of shields. Even the Mended Arms has a shield, broad shield now. And both the knights for, uh, more, uh, excuse me, Killas have tower shields. Yep, Killas picked this map. This is definitely what they wanted to do. They wanted to get a ranged um, battle going with a heavy defense. <laughs> they even have the knight with the tower, a third knight with the tower shield screening for their archer. Yep. Very nice use of a knight and uh, archer combo to absorb arrows. Like, you can tell that if he... Oh! But it didn't save him. Maximus nope. killing Halt Hammerzite. Oh, cool. and it took them for a second to realize exactly who it was just on the other side of the map hitting them. Now, Killer's beaten him bloody. Oh, but High Elf Storm going down, and then Warbird's also getting stabbed. Maximus, though, still are taking people out. Uh, Kroll was down. His, this knight's very hurt. Oh, he's trying to run. Oh, wow, he just got that block off. Using that crudgel to get around that tower shield was going to be hard. Stabbed oh, but now you have Hutley in the back dealing with the other... Or that's Ker Kershaw. Oh, yeah, Kershaw and Hutley, both yep. of them. The knights got separated. One went out of the archer, and the other got double teamed by the men-at-arms and the knight, I take it. <laughs> so now it's just a one-on-three. Oh, hit in the throat or the head. Oh, and another shot takes him out. Wow, great, great show from Maximus this round. It looks like Killa is subbing one of their guys out.
Killa going with the same comp. Four shields and an archer. I didn't see them sub anybody out. Um, Dread, Kroll, Ham. No, yeah, they still on the way, it looks like. I'll where, be live next round. Where'd Retsnom go? Uh, I, he was I mean, already subbed out, I think. I thought he, I don't remember if he was in the last round or the last map, but uh, it's gonna go live next round, so I'll stop, pause the video. Right, we, we can talk about <laughs> stuff later. <laughs> Indeed, gosh. we are live again here. Okay, we have one round. Mortal Legion splitting yeah. between the two sides. One round for Mortal Legion. One round for Killa. Zero rounds for Killa. If that score is or, sorry, yeah, sorry, zero. I was. And yeah, that's also the count I have. They're sticking on the. I don't want to call it the left side. I don't know what to call that side because they're both. Some, it's a pretty symmetrical map. One very funny thing that most competitive teams will run into bef until they practice maps is using. They'll be like, "Okay, everyone, go left." But left is quite relative, so you, most clans usually have those nice little moments. Indeed. Of everyone rushing to the wrong. Oh, objective. a javelin from Crathalation taking out Hutley. And then Kershaw just got ganked by Hank Reardon. This Vanguard has jumped in, but he's in trouble too now. <laughs> knocked oh, he off. just gets knocked off. <laughs> and their knight trying to avenge him by running in with his mace. He gets quadruple teamed and his corpse falls down the stairs. And then the Vanguard had to watch him fall down and then get shot in the face by Hall oh. Hammer Knight. Storm always made it. You almost made it, little buddy. That was a clinical <laughs> dissection of how a round can go wrong for your team. Pretty much. Now, score is now one to one. Nice javelin from um, Clarathoration. We'll see what he can pull out here. It also should be noted that um, number one, this round is probably not going to be live because they're subbing right now. Yep. But um. Also, if you do kill someone with a javelin, it is referred to in competitive circles as a dunk. Really? Uh, it, only if you kill someone from range. There, there are tons of rules that you know casual players aren't aware of. Like if you hit, two, if you kill two people with one thrust of a pole arm, it's called a skewer. And if you get it three, it's called a shish kebab. Three is a shish kebab, good sir. Shh, fuck that. <laughs> say whatever I want to say. Yeah, you're you can you're allowed to be wrong. Uh -huh. You guys are allowed to be lame. <laughs> Good sir, why never? After this, I demand you put up arm or you take arms. I will take arms. There will be many arms to take. I'll disarm you. Well, that that's rather rude. I was just gonna play Shiv. Suggested like a duel in there or something. All right, we are alive again. The map was restarted. Okay, so. Mushrooms, I believe, was the sub for Mortal Legion, if I'm not mistaken. And he's using the heavy javelin. It's a, I find it to be a bit of a risky uh, uh, maneuver in the last team standing mode because there's no ammo boxes anywhere. And you've only got five javelins, so... And he's already yep. lost one of them. Yeah, and if he's using the heavy javelin, because the first javelin um, that's available is actually decent for melee as well. Yeah. So a lot of javelineers will use that if they expect to get into melee combat. But yep. he, he's like, nope, I'm going balls deep. He may be relying on his secondary weapon for melee combat. One also, one thing that he's also probably wanting to do is just use that shield so they actually have five Ooh. shields right now, technically. And oh. Hammerzite took out Maximus. So uh, now IL doesn't have an archer anymore. But they're still hanging back. Maybe they're waiting for the javelin here to run out of ammo. Uh, he's got a, probably only has one left now. Yep. Oh, throwing axe oh. to his arm. Yep, that was his last one. Alright, so. He switches to the crudgel. What's more Legion gonna do? Do they have anybody flanking? Yes, they do. No, they're getting flanked. They. <laughs> They had a vanguard go in there. I'll, I'll watch the flank, you watch the top. Alright, I'm watching. Oh, uh, Killa's moved across the top. Oh, uh, Yeah, dread. Killa just destroyed that hallway as well. Oh, he's using them all. But a uh, yeah. very nice shield usage. 
Oh, overhead takes out Dread. That was a nice hit. Oh, but then a stab from Krull. Forward. Hut leads down as well. So that is yep, two rounds. Here, two rounds for Legion? Yep. Or no, two rounds for Killus. Yep, and I expect perhaps Kershaw to sub in for Storm. Yep, here you are, right? Nope, he's well, he was in, then he get, looks like he got abandoned. <laughs> we'll probably resume next round when it's live, when he gets back in. Okay, and... Alright, this game should be live now. Live, live, live. Live, live, live. Indeed. It's like, well, it's like live, 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 live. Six lives. Live, 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 live. Don't worry, bro. I got you on the other three. Okay. okay. You see, kill everything. Oh, time. Oh, Maximus oh. getting taken out by a quick arrow across the map. Very, that was a great shot. Shot him through the, uh, shot him through the middle of a little archway, too. And now, um, Legion's getting flanked. They're uh, sending some guys oh, over the across jab, the map, just, though. The Javelinier just goes down there and is like, Hey, I'll 1v1 you, bro. Well, he didn't do too bad, but he's dead now. And now we've got dies, guys dying left and right. Oh, Krull gets taken down. Dread takes down Hutley. Hutley, uh, that's probably a big loss for uh, more Legion. Hank Reardon killed Warbird. The Men at Arms is hurt. Nice faint, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, unfortunately, unless they can pull out a 1v3 right here. He might, so you never know. But it's not looking... Going in behind Dread, they're, they're not able to quite get on both sides of the knight. <laughs> well, then the archer gets <laughs> a nice friendly fire from Hank Reardon. That way they can just mob th with three people and say, forget, yeah. forget all the core, just kill our own people. It's three rounds for Kella, one for Miller and Legion. The Geneva Convention has not quite been established, so... Warfare is brutal. And who won the last map? Because I forgot already. <laughs> um, the winner of the last match was, um... Killa. Okay. I mean, no, the last match was... The last the map. Last, um, oh, the last map huh, was, um, Immortal Legion. Okay. Oh, uh, Archer and Vanguard are separated from the rest of their group until they're in, or rather the, uh, well he was an Archer, but the Javelin Thrower more specifically. Hutley takes out Dread with an overhead. Nice Vanguard duel going on here. Oh, but Mushrooms got attacked. Um, a nice uh, rhythm going from the other team and he couldn't block both. Hutley takes out Hult the enemy Archer. Nice cludgel action. Cludgel, it's two, two javelin throwers. Ooh, the javelinier just takes out that cudgel, proving that he was the superior javelinier. Apparently. So it is now Hank Reardon versus the men-at-arms and the cudgel. Oh, oh, and Hutley disarmed him once again. And they are very happy about this, screaming and yelling and then staring dreamily into each other's eyes. Indeed, Legion showing that they're not out of this yet. Does it does it make you uh does it make you jerk every time I say Legion and not Immortal Legion? Um, a little piece of me dies inside, but it's okay. Good, good. I will have to say this more then. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's good. This pleases me. Oh wow, the uh, uh Ayala going for a rush up through the ramp here. Yeah, Although, but they leave Maximus yeah, unprotected. Maximus, for and he didn't even see it coming apparently. And they're rushing after him, but the uh, other team has already gone across to the other side. And they're getting hit by archers and javelins and god knows what else. Oh, knight on vanguard fight here. Oh, but he's got he's getting double teamed. Oh, and he went for he blocked too early and got stabbed by mushroom or uh, mushroom stab rather. Krull takes out Kershaw. It's not looking good. Not looking Hutley good for Legion. gets hit by an arrow and now Javelinier is trying to come up behind him but misses. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> the men at arms and the archer died. It's now one verse one, or two verse one. Go, me go at Avalon with your shield bash. My favorite attack in the game, probably. Oh, but he gets stabbed oh. by Reardon. Nice, nice effort, if nothing else. It is now four, two to four in favor of Killa. Hopefully they won't leave their archer all alone this time. But he's yeah. way up there. If they it sounds like that was just miscommunication. Probably. Kill a eking out. Just having a couple people say, hey, hi, hello, how are you? Getting a fire pot that went over his head. Oh, oh, the javelin right in the archer cannot, even if the archer's watched out for, he, he needs to watch out for himself as well. But both sides have a javelin thrower now, it should be mentioned, so. Yeah, they, it's been like that for a little bit, and unfortunately it seems like it seems to be going in favor of Killa, at least unfortunately for Immortal Legion. They've dropped, tried to drop down onto uh, IL there, but they were, got up the ramp in time. Killer responding to this flank instantly. Oh, 3v2. Great. Kershaw tries to make it not matter, but you have one shield you know, trying to hold off two. They they didn't bother mixing up their attack. Nope, they so all they went just, in and they connected. Oh, yeah. mushrooms is flailing like a wild animal. Start swinging that sword of yours. Don't stop. Oh, but yeah, that, yeah. any kind of poke from the Zoolander is going to hurt a lot. Oh. Javelin on Javelin. Oh, Crow goes down, or rather uh, takes down Mushrooms, and then went in for the stab on Warbirds because his bloodthirst was not sated. Nope, not quite. He had sanguine colored eyes and just wanted to feast and revel. Kill is, uh, kills is in a big advantage of this map now, 5 to 2. Zoolander, obviously the most effective weapon employed in the game. One of the most. It 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 has the um the benefit of blue steel and magnum and other such looks. Indeed. Call the uh call the stab the the, the <laughs> call the stab the magnum overhead blue steel. It's, it's just a straight up brawl this ground, going straight up the uh, alleyway. Oh, nice duck from Crow, but he got team killed by Dread. And that cludgel is just oh, hammering wow. the knight. And then Dread went in for the kill. Kershaw just eating, eating so many blows. And now Killa just needs one more, and they will be taking this map, pushing it to a third to see who will advance to the semifinals. Indeed. The Dark Age Gaming 5v5 from this tournament. It's it's even more of a mouthful if you say Dark Age Gaming Primitus Tournament Five vs Five Last Team Standing Chivalry Medieval Warfare Mortal Legion vs uh, Killa. Good on you, sir. Indeed, right? I, I I thought I was being I thought I was taking the hard way out and not just <laughs> that one tournament that we're all watching. <laughs> the only good tournament going on. The only one. The only one going on For right now. now. Looking For forward now. to a time when you get your choice of 19 different streams, all streaming chivalry. I know. We can all And you hope. still choose mine because you love me, hopefully. And mine. Yeah, of course, if you end up streaming, which you should do when you get a better internet connection. What are you streaming? I like, you. I like my YouTubes. Well, you could do both. Ah. Uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, stupid. I'll get my friend to stream for me. Anyways, you know, sound like you sound like the individuals who said that the DVD was just a fad. Uh -huh, I like my uh -huh. VCR. Well, maybe when your upload speed gets, maybe when I get Google Fiber, you know. <laughs> yeah, that that would be wonderful. All right. Uh, so far, it reminds me of the last matchup. Uh, both teams fighting on this one side in the little doorway. Yep, that choke point. And see, it's risky to take your soldiers away from that because then it might allow the other people if they notice They're this. going in. They go through Hank Reardon with a beautiful stab through Mushroom's face. The Crudgel uh, just being used to maximum effect. The Javelin here is just not even caring. 
swing and melee. Oh, range. beautiful Huntley. hit from Huntley. Huntley. Oh my Huntley. god, Huntley. I can't believe he got both hits off. Can you put? Can you make a triple? Can you make a triple? Oh no! Oh, Warbird Warbirds took his kill. So let's see what this archer can do. Okay, he's all that remains of the hopes of Immortal Legion for this map. If they do hopes not take dreams. this, they will have to be pushed to another. Hopefully more soon. Yeah, <laughs> nice hit oh. from Hammersight. <laughs> Taking out Warbirds. Oh, oh true. Putting his advance. And the men at arms is probably healed up by now. Yep. He's gonna have that archer to deal with. He's expecting him. Oh, he sees each other. He's expecting. He's waiting for it to pop out. Oh, both miss. Both miss. Well, you see that arrow in the wall there. Seems like he's gonna engage in the courtyard. He's jumped down. Got a little engagement. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna? Oh God! Oh, is it hard? Oh, he dodges. Oh, it's a cudgel battle. Oh, he took a hit. That's bad. Ah! Oh. He just alive. Yes, he does. Well, nice, very nice uh, try from Hammerzite. But uh, it will go going for one more round here, or more. Excuse me, not one more round. It could be a many. And I do love how in the last name standing I get to see where all the projectiles have been fired because they stick in the walls. No, I, I love it when they stick in people's heads and I get to call them a unicorn for the rest of the time. <laughs> Seems like Hutley decided to eat one of those projectiles. It's just well. floating in midair on my screen. Oh, he's trying to hit that vanguard in the head, but it just missed him by like an inch. That fire pot being used That was a good very, yeah. Oh, the no. vanguard, they're rushing in. <laughs> Yep, they knew exactly when that fire pot would end, too. Oh, head bashed in from Weirden. Weirden, rather. Weirden. <laughs> Missed with the overhead of the Zoolander. If it had connected, that, uh, that Vanguard would be dead, probably. The oh. archer just trying to counter snipe at each other. Kroll right got then. his stab in oh. first. Kershaw's down. It's all up to Maximus to keep uh, Legion's hopes alive on this map. Oh, oh he's beautiful scoring shot! Scoring his first kill of the map. Can he add? A oh, quite. not quite, but it's a good try. Valiant effort, indeed. So, Killer wins map two. Legion one, map one. We will go on to a third map of Legion's choice. You know that clan that uh, hides in. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Warbird will have to leave, so they're going to have to sub somebody out. Come hither, come hither, come hither. Which may be bad for uh, Legion, because he was definitely one of their best players. But they do have a replacement. And I will pause the video again and resume once we've started the next map. All right. You should all go look for them. Yes, there's, we were discussing how there's a cow on every map, apparently. I'd like to, I'd like to think there's Easter eggs on every map, because I know there's ghosts and such. But the uh, the new map is now live. This round will be going live here. Uh, Legion has picked uh, Arena, I believe, correct? Um, that is correct. And they probably um, picked this primarily because they wanted to get away from the tight corridors and choke points and the elongated nature of the throne room to prevent Killa from using that shield range setup. So this is a much more concentrated, small map, and they hope to close that gap or get pickoffs in a more appropriate manner. Killa will be Mason, and Agatha will be Immortal Legion. We see multiple range threats coming out from Killa with a Javelinier and an Archer again. Indeed. I've never seen a Javelin uh, used on this map uh, in the tournament games yet, so I'm looking forward to see how it's going to play out. Uh, for Legion, we have got... Oh, I uh, just wanted to mention that Maximus just took, just got taken out by Halt Zammer site, which is going to be a big loss for them in this first round here. Yep, yeah, it seems that having four people right now is going to be a disadvantage, but I mean, obviously having two ranged threats is going to give them a little more diversity, and more shields is going to allow their other members to stay safer, as opposed to Mortal Legions, which is running less shields. Oh, nice shot from Hammerzite taking out Hutley, which uh, definitely one of Legion's best, uh, or, yeah, one of Legion's best players. And that first round goes to Killers. Um, yeah. But on Legion team, we've got Kershaw as a knight, Scott 
Cantrell, who subbed out for Warbirds as a Vanguard. Maximus is still the Archer. Hutley is still Men at Arms, and Mushrooms as a Vanguard. I mean, it should be. I don't know how much of an influence it is, but the leveling, their levels on this both teams, uh, looks like Legion's at a little disadvantage. All right, and Scott Cantrell is. Oh, one both, of the. Uh, yeah. Actually, the enemies was burned by a fire pot, Legion guys. That knight keeps getting this hit from max range. Hutley taking out Hank Reardon. Very nice move. Oh, but a javelin from Craft the Relation. Oh, wow. That javelin here almost gets cut off by the gate. <laughs> oh, I missed it. But he, well, in turn, he got shot by. Oh, no, that was the archer. Got shot by Maximus. <laughs> Friendly oh. javelin to the face. Dunking his own team. Oh, and getting a team kill. Oh, oh man, Kroll almost won it for <laughs> Immortal Legion that round. Those in Lethal Alliance have broken their <laughs> Lethal Alliance. <laughs> Just with their lines part, at least. So far, it's two rounds for Killa, zero for uh, Legion. They need a round to get their morale back, I think. I would have loved to have seen the gate come down on that javelin's ears. That, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Okay, the man at arms has his fire pot out looking for an opportunity to use it. Fire pot uh, thrown a little short, didn't hit anything. Vanguard on the uh, Mason side of the map. Uh, he was gonna, it looked like he might have got triple teamed. Oh, there's a man at arms coming up behind him. He doesn't realize it, he keeps getting stabbed. But he manages to get out alive. Both men at arms and the Vanguard are almost dead. Dread takes out Scott Tantral. Um, and then there's a men at arms went after him and returned. Now both pointy sticks are trying to prove whose stick is pointier. Both men at arms having a good fight here. Hutley taking out oh. Dread though. That was a good fight though. And that poor little javelin thrower is in the world of trouble. Oh! And that goddamn halberd with its fucking quick stab. There's a lot of talk on the forums I've seen regarding the halberd. I have to agree that it is just, it seems that it's extremely fast, extremely long range, good damage. Great weapon to have all around. So, that is, uh, yep, two rounds for Killa, one for Legion. They, they're on the board now, so we'll see what happens this round. Yep, a throwable connecting. The knight traded out his. Uh, usual weapon for a one-handed falchion. Oh, that quick Zoolander stab. He's trying to get their archer. He was a little too single-minded and uh, got caught up by Scott Contrail. Nice stab by Mushrooms onto Hank Reardon, but then it got shut down by Hutley. Oh, Hammerzite taking out Maximus. It's the lone archer versus every... Oh, oh take nice shot there. Oh, he flipped, he's gonna, oh, I thought he was gonna flip the switch and burn them, but he didn't. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, nice. I, uh, nice try. Uh, Warbird, it looks like your people are doing well without you as well. Not Indeed. to say that you didn't do a great job, but yep. just speaking so you can identify my voice. Game's been, <laughs> game's been tied up again now. Uh, that was a very nice job from Hammerzite, though. I mean, it was four on one, and he got two of them. And, uh, but unfortunately, that falchion is very hard to block sometimes. Yeah, especially when you engage in some face hugging, it just is so difficult. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of the one-handed weapons are just so hard. To, oh, fire pot! Uh, I thought it was gonna oh, get multiple. Oh, he's standing in it. It doesn't do too much damage when you're standing, at least. It, well, he took the full eight-second duration, pretty much. So that's twenty-five percent. Oh, that of his Vanguard! Health. I'm pretty sure that Vanguard could get shot by the archer. He's not completely hidden by that spike pole. Oh, enemies going after their archer a little bit. Oh, nice quick stab. Oh, Maximus Ooh, taking out um, Halt Hammerzite. Nice fate. Oh, Vanguard. Oh, getting smacked by the cudgel. Faked him out, pretended to go the other way, and was like, nope, I'll turn back and kill you. This knight yeah. over here is no trouble. Oh, and then a uh, combo butter from Kroll. Or a faint combo, might have been. <laughs> Maximus hit his own teammate into the spikes and then was quickly killed for his traitorous 
actions. Chivalry, karma, many different concepts uh, are emerging forth. Two Here's rounds next. Legion, three for Killa. The gate goes up and the sides enter the map again. We haven't really had any substitutions or uh, class changing this map. Oh! The Vanguard thought he was going to advance early and then he's like, nope. Uh, I don't like the way this archer quite tastes. Oh, Hammer's Ooh. taking out Maximus this time. Maximus oh, not like him taste that archer hit there that either. Oh, and another hit on the Vanguard in the neck that Hope time. Oh, pulling his weight, but Hutley gets in on him. Can Hutley pull the work? Nice I'm not use sure of he has the, the Warhammer. To get in there enough. <laughs> He's oh! just using that Warhammer to its maximum effect with his great job, Kershaw. And Dread does Hutley's work for him by taking out the archer, and now it's all left to the Krath man. Oh, stabbed by the Heavy Javelin. Heavy Javelin's not, a, as you were saying earlier, not the best weapon for melee. Uh, but he's holding his own, well, until that hammer got around a shield block. They did not exactly feel his crass. Nice job from Kershaw that round. He got in there and was just swinging away with his hammer. Yeah, Warhammer is extremely powerful. It packs like a two-handed weapon, but um, it is only requires one hand, and it it the Has trade off a surprisingly, is surprisingly yeah sword, surprisingly but. long range, even though it's a one-hander. Correct. All right, so it's three and three. It's a very tight game. Both sides really wanting the victory. Oh, two throwing axes. One, I don't know, just one, I guess. Oh, Maximus takes out Hammer's Eye. It's like they're trading rounds every time. One archer kills in one round, and then the other archer kills the other next round. Oh, the sides starting to mix in. That Vanguard with the halberd got killed by Kroll in this uh, night. For those people wondering if the Vanguard's... Um why competitive play worked. It's able to put out a lot of damage from multiple sources with those swings. Nice feint, but he was able to block it and he fainted in oh. return, but then he's Oh ah. Nice try, but he got stabbed in the back. Couldn't it's just so on. difficult. Good job by um Killa by able to split his attention between those two forces and flank them. Indeed. It's just so difficult to do that even without a shield four I mean rounds. even with a shield four rounds for killer three for a legion now oh that fire pot hitting the javelin that was a very good one and they keep getting hit by projectiles it sounds like the exchange of the throwables Okay, and now that Warhammer is going straight in. He went in. But he's getting stabbed for the oh. overextension. Yeah, but his teammates are going in while he draws those two guys out. He's still alive. I mean, he's hurt, but he, he did his job. Yep. He did a great job of drawing those two away, and his teammates did the rest for him. Three beaten and bloody on IL, but... Oof. Hank, you're did not going down without a fight. Especially when you've got the other team helping you. <laughs> Oh, stabbed in the back, and then an overhead that got around a shield. Good fight, though. Once again, it's <laughs> score is tied. I hope if it gets to like six on six, everybody just whips out their fists and goes at it. Javelin thrown and missed. Fire pot going out. Oh, a beautiful fire pot. Three people burning. Are they going to rush in or are they going to hold back? They're oh, that's Y stab, just barely missing. Nice block from the Zoolander and again a feint with that ha that uh, Warhammer. Hutley's tried to get in, but he goes blocked. Oh, Hank Reardon team killing Dread. Oh, and then he gets hit. He's in a bad. Yep. Oh. Hank Reardon saying, I really want to be the last one on this map alive again. <laughs> Get a second shot at this one. He piece. got his wish. Yeah. And as now five in Legion, they've uh, it's the first time they've been ahead this map. Yep. 
And as you just heard, Legion has a shot at winning. We're going to get back in this tournament and beat Killa, who killed us the first time. <laughs> so, indeed. Now there's Some sort a of witchcraft for a magic sub from Killa. Indeed, they're going to sub out. I wonder if they're subbing yeah, Hank Reardon. Uh, he was, I mean, he was doing great uh, in the last couple of maps, but I guess just because he wasn't doing so hot this time, he's they're going to sub him out. Uh, I so wish you, uh, the the team who won uh, the map would get to go into the stands and kill all the spectators. This would be a great feature. All these filthy peasants. I know. And their floating helmets. They're just staring at me. <laughs> these guys all look at me disapprovingly. The eyes None of them seem to be happy to be here. I know. They're, they're folding their arms defensively. And pointing angrily. The uh, Vanguard helmet eyes seem to be matched up. The knight, the knight's helmet's eyes look fairly matched up too. But looks like you have very bad visibility out of that one helmet. The maps, Is it on the um, legendary helm? I or I mean the veteran the, helmet? The veteran right. knight helmet, yeah, and the Vanguard one. Look. And the map's been restarted, uh, so that we can start it right away here. Yep. Who? Did? By the way, welcome to chat, Kefko. It looks like Retsom is back in the game now. He's uh, gone in for killers for uh, Reardon. Yep. They, they're tired of Hank Reardon TKing and whatnot, I'm sure. Mm, they, or they were just mad at him for losing the duel in the beginning of the match, I guess. Yeah, there's lots of stuff to be mad at Hank Reardon for. After all, he is the scapegoat of the entire nation, pretty much. Isn't the score 5-4? Currently, I mean 5-6. 5-4. 5-4. 5-4. 5-4 in favor of Killa. Mm -hmm. This is the last set to determine who will take the match and advance into the semifinals. In the Dark Age Gaming 5v5 Primitus Tournament, um, last man standing, I don't remember the way. rest. <laughs> last team standing, uh, round two. Um... That's it, round two, and then se se or qu quarterfinals. Same thing. Quarterfinals. Okay, matches on live. Here we go. <laughs> they lit the fire, even though nobody ran that way. No one's saying pot. that it's five four IL, which actually yes, makes that's, complete that's what sense. I said, isn't it? Mm, I said killer because I'm a scrub. Ah, well, scrub, scrub, scrub. Um. Javelin here and Archer still. Nobody's changed any classes. What class did Retsum go? He went Vanguard. Retsum is a Vanguard, I do believe. Yes, he is. Ooh. And he dies as a Vanguard. Yep, Mushrooms takes him out. They're no. trying to. Looks like they're kind of protecting their Archer a little bit more this time, but it didn't matter. He's dead by a counter snipe. And their team just got taken out like within the same second almost. They've wiped up pretty handily, only sustaining one casualty. Indeed, it's, uh, it's very kill is in dangerous position now. They had a strong yep. start to this map, but it's now six four against them. And the start of what could be the last round here. Has Killa changed any tactics? Killa has. Oh no, they haven't. <laughs> Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> you got really excited there for a second. Yeah, I was like, oh, we're gonna see a change of pace for the. There you go. But uh, no, they're, they're oh playing aggressively. Great javelin takes out Maximus. Kratz does not want his team to go out quite yet. The knight with Warhammer being focused down by two Indeed, small little and they do take him out. Now we have a five v two. Or five v oh, three. nice poke from Mushrooms on the curl. It's three on two. Ooh, Ooh that four on two. Going over um, Hutley's head. Oh, Mushrooms taking out Dread. Oh, but Ritzim got Mushrooms with the poke in return. So it's now just one on three. He's gonna. Oh, but a oh. combo. I think it was a combo swing from Ritsum. Right to the dough. Nice, uh, nice try though. I mean, they 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 were the last two left. I mean, they did take out two of them, but um, yeah, it was enough. So now six five Killa. Uh, Legion could still win this any time, uh, but um, Killa's still in it. It could come down to like the Southern Death match here. Let's see. Oh. 
Nice fire pot. Oh, it burns. More hammer. Oh, that minute oh, arm's wow, dodging like a boss to get out of there. <laughs> oh, yes, Maximus. Maximus took out Hammer's Zite this out. time, though. There's no javelin for him. Javelin near having to tank to Oh, he got stabbed by the uh, by the uh, met by the vanguard. The vanguard almost got a swing, but his swing was stopped by the wall. Mm. He's got the warhammer chasing after him, but the warhammer has been overheaded. Oh, they tried to kick the vanguard in the pit. Didn't quite oh, work. Oh, I'm putting in work. Just adding everyone until he gets taken down by Hutley. Still a duel going on right between now. the Hutley is going to be taking out. Um, oh. oh, wow! Great swing, Hutley but he's in trouble. Arc. Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one here. Claymore versus Zoolander. Troll saying, no, I want to represent Killa. I think I've seen more TKs in this match than... Oh! Oh, and, oh, and Cole showing why he should have represented it, bringing it to even, even, 6-6. Six, six. The winner of this will take it all. Well, not all, but to the semifinals anyways. Well, yeah, take... take. Don't, don't criticize me, bro. <laughs> you excited? I am very you excited. That's why I'm criticizing dead. you. <laughs> What Anyways, we came here for after the hours of technical difficulties, it's all coming to a head right now. I know. Kroll there, I mean, he finished it with a sprinting um, a jab with the Zoolander that he actually managed to get around the side, so he got around the side of his block. It's a very nice move. I don't know if it was intentional, but <laughs> Javelin throws on fire, literally. Uh, he's running around. Oh, nice trading there. Oh, and then a Javelin on the Scott Contra. Oh, the oh, Ooh, Kershaw's, Kershaw's down. Taken out. This minute arms is Hutley also. Behind. Oh, taken out. wow. Gets taken out. It is Start swinging. Very good for Killa. Coming oh, behind to take wow. three matches in a or three rounds in a row. Killa will be advancing. Very Indeed. good game fought by both sides. Extremely good game. Great matchup. I wish see. Now. I wish they could see both teams shake hands. Yep, I wish that there was like a dance animation at least, so we could see them dance together. Um, next, I do believe that we will be going to an interview with Retsum. Um, yeah, it was. Uh... And I just wanted to show the tournament brackets, um, so that viewers can see VQ1 has already advanced. Um, Killa will be taking them on in the next round. The Order of Bulldog and Forgotten Kings 2 have not yet fought, and Forgotten Kings 3 and Vanquish 2, we saw that earlier today. Vanquish, of course, being the victors there. Um, let's see if we can't get some interviews. We got some handshaking now. A little bit of handshaking with fisty cuffs. Yep. Always good to see. Indeed. I had to give him some encouragement, but they did it finally. And Kershaw just says, <laughs> Kershaw killed himself. Oh, because he abandoned. Uh, anyways, yeah, definitely a great match. Oh, kicked into the spikes. Oh. That uh, last round uh, was not close, though. I mean, Legion, uh, Legion uh, they tried, but they got picked off, you know. I think that projectiles got hit them and a number of other things. They went down pretty quick, but uh, they still did. I mean, they did a great job. They came back. They were at a deficit for most of this map, and they managed to get ahead. And then Killa again uh, then also did a, got ahead and managed to come back from their deficit. So it was a great matchup in this last map. Yep, and coming up will be an interview with, um, it looks like, Retznong and... We will see if there will be anyone else. Right now, just seeing what we're going to do. I think these will be conducted at least with Red Snow on Mumble, um, purely because I'm lazy, or it's just faster to set up. So I will be getting in the Legion Mumble server.
All right, then. I'll let you do the interview, and with on to be on your live stream. And for those of you who watched today, thank you very much for joining us in this great game. Um, mm. This was the, you know, Dark Age Gaming 5 vs. 5 Primitives North American Tournament. You can join us anytime, darkagegaming.com. Thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Height. Thank you very much for welcoming me, and thank you for joining me on my live stream as well. It was quite enjoyable. Indeed. It's some kind of cross-section casting going on. It's, it disturbs me in a way. We still have to have our uh, we still have to have our caster fight after the game. Oh, yes, yes. We will get to this. Um, you know what? We should we should just take a rain check and have an epic duel oh. at, f for like maybe the finals or something like that so we can proceed to talk trash about each other until uh, then. I see. I see how it is. Hype it up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, whatever. I see. I, I, got, I guess no, you're just I, a little I scared. You know, it's all right. I understand. And, you know. It's all right. Get time to you just scrub that you are. I can. I understand how you feel. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That. that okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> let my swords do the talk. I'm gonna take.
Thanks. Take a page from VQ there. <laughs> Alright, well, until next time, thank you all for joining me. Uh, have a good night out there.